Hey you guys and welcome to my kitchen, Midnight Munchies and More. I am your chef Sharice and today we are going to be making a vegan pecan pie. Oh my god. So this is probably going to be the, <laughs> the last recipe in all my like Thanksgiving series, whatever. Um, but I wanted to just throw it in there because I only have a pecan pie. Don't think I even have an apple pie, whatever. So I'm making a pecan pie. But before we get started, I did want to give a super huge shout out to Jillian who hooked me up with a tofu press and I feel like I just leveled up as a vegan. Like I feel like I'm like a vegan 100. <laughs> I also want to welcome Veronica to my Patreon community. So um, before you watch this, make sure you subscribe because I'm trying to get to 10,000. Oh my God. Ooh, I'm so close to 10,000. Like help me out, please, and subscribe. Smash that like button if you want to help support this channel. You can also donate via PayPal, which is linked below, or check out my Patreon, which I have lots and lots of tiers on there. So you can definitely check that out, become part of the community, like Veronica, like all the people linked below. Let's jump in. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to make a flax egg, right? So if you've seen my channel before, if you have my e-cookbook, you've seen this a bajillion times. So basically, if you take ground flax meal and mix it with water and let it hang out, it becomes more gelatinous and viscous, kind of like an egg, and it helps bind things. So I have three tablespoons of ground flax meal in there, and then to that, I'm going to add a quarter of a cup of water, and then I'm just gonna mix, whoa, knock everything over, and then I'm just gonna mix this together, and I'm gonna let this hang out until it gets like, you know, more viscous. As you can see, we have gotten a lot thicker, right? All right, so now we're going to add three quarters of a cup of maple syrup. Oh, shout out to Robbie for this spatula. Girl, it's so big and I love it. And then we're going to add two tablespoons of molasses. Oh, she thick. Oh my God, molasses. Oh man, okay. And then we're also going to add one tablespoon of cornstarch, if she'll come out of there. Come on, beach. Come on, beach. Okay. And then we're going to add, boop, quarter of a teaspoon of cinnamon and three tablespoons of peanut butter. Now, all right, look, <coughs> you can use any nut butter. I'm using peanut butter because well, it's cheaper, but also I'm using the Crazy Richards brand. So it's like literally just peanuts, right? Like <laughs> we ain't got any extra oil or sweetener or anything like that. So that's what I prefer to use. I would recommend just eating that as your regular peanut butter. But you know, if you open your pantry and all you have is some regular ass peanut butter, then just use some regular ass peanut butter. <laughs> so I'm just going to start whisking this together a little bit before we go in and add the piece de resistance. Last but not least, of course, we have to add some chopped pecans. So I have a heaping cup of chopped pecans, and we're just going to mix that all right in there. Oh, my God. Look at this. It's looking so good. I'm freaking out. All right. <laughs> now we're going to take our store-bought pie shell. Okay, look. Okay. <laughs> you can certainly make your own. But this, I'm making this for Thanksgiving, girl, and I have enough to make. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the last thing I want to make. But... If you want to make your own, I will leave um, a link below to my Pop-Tart recipe, which is actually what I use to make those is my homemade pie crust. So there's that. And then if you want to make it gluten-free, I will drop that link below as well. That's from my Game of Thrones pigeon pie, vegan pigeon pie recipe. Um, and that's a gluten-free pie crust. So you can certainly do that like you do you. Um, and then we're just going to pour our mixture right on in there. Grab our spatula so we can get it all. So this next part is optional, but if you want to make it like fancy, you can take some whole pecans and kind of go around the outside. And so it's like, you know, fancy. I mean, it's definitely like tedious and time consuming. And I don't know if I would do it if I wasn't doing it for a video. Um, just because like, I don't know, it takes forever. Like I don't have patience for this. But it does genuinely look pretty. I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm going to put this in there for half of an hour. No, I lie. I'm going to put this in there for 35 minutes. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to put it in for 35 minutes. And then I'm going to turn my oven off. Not open the door. Do not open that door. Keep that heat in there, girl. And then just let it hang out for another 10 minutes after that. So it's a total of 45. 350 degrees, 35 minutes. Turn the oven off, don't open the door, let it hang out for another 10. And then, you know, take it out, let it sit, and you know, you got a pie. You guys, look at this. 
a Pagamba, or if you or if you're drooling Solomita in Jenna Marbles, a Pisan, a Pisan pie. I should have said that at the beginning. It's a Pisan pie. So yeah, let's just jump in. Oh my god. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Look at that texture. Mm hmm. That like sticky, almost like a toffee. I don't know. Whatever pecan pie is. That sticky, pecan -y. Oh my god. I got a little note of that cinnamon in there. That was a good idea. Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. bang goes on your stomach so <laughs> full written recipe as per usual will be linked below midnightmunchiesandmore.com make sure you subscribe I already said at the beginning what else um share this with your friends if you do make it take pictures send it to me on social media it's like my most favorite thing <laughs> and uh i love you guys and i'll catch you next time Ooh, good night kisses wally wishes and reminisces his eyes kiss and wally waits for the full moon above oh I will read up, passionate love, listening closely, positioning my intuition for her nutrition and ambition, nutrition and ambition, get up. Like when you rise in the morning, rub your eyes in the morning through the skies in the morning, get up. Like when you rise in the morning, rub your eyes in the morning through the skies in the morning, get up.